1963, during the height of the Cold War, Russian bombers penetrated over 100 miles into Alaska and got away with it. This is the story of that drama and my minor part in what happened. I was assigned to the 317th Fighter Interceptor Squadron at Elmendorf Air Force Base in Alaska. Elmendorf, right near Anchorage, was our home base, and from it we went to deployments to Isleson to the north of us, Galena to the northwest, and King Simon to the southwest. We were flying the F-102 Delta Wing fighter, one of the best fighters of its day, with excellent radar, highly maneuverable. But it was barely supersonic, and speed was crucial in the events that took place. It was in Alaska, with its open air space, plenty of room for maneuvering, that I learned to get aggressive and learned the real spirit of attack. One day we had a big training exercise, and our own strategic air commands, B-52s and B-47s, attacked us from several directions, using the tactics that they would have used against the Russians. I flew many missions against those B-52s and learned a lot. But by the time the exercise ended with nightfall, I was tired and wanted to go home. I got home, took off my sweaty flight suit, and collapsed into a nice warm tub. Then the phone rang. My wife answered. The squadron wants you down there immediately. I hopped out of the tub, put my flight suit back on, and got down to the squadron just as fast as I could. The wing commander was there, dressed in his pajamas, a bathrobe, and slippers. There are Russian bombers over Alaska, he said. Get a plane, get out there. The Russians had caught us at a very bad time. We had downloaded the weapons from our fighters, and it took about 30 precious minutes to rearm our planes. We finally got airborne to meet them, got off the ground, but suddenly they turned around and went back the way they had come just as fast as they could go. We are now in a stern chase, and the Russian bombers were almost as fast as our fighters. They knew they were in trouble, and they called for help. Russian fighters took off from Providenia and raced east to cover their retreating bombers. We all met over the Bering Sea. It was night, and everybody turned off their lights. There were a lot of planes on the radar, but nobody knew who was who. Then we got the call, turn around and come home. We eventually determined that there were two Russian bear bombers and they were probably lost. Well, they nearly got shot down and it would have crashed on American soil. This story is on page 18 of my book, The Spirit of Attack.